this is Little Rutur or Little Ram Crater, which erupted through July August of 2023, as you remember. And as you know, this had been rather small and short-lived eruption, and the crater that you see here was only a few dozens of meters long. But can you imagine a crater full of lava being 37 times bigger than Little Rutur? and on the top of that with explosive activity. Such enormous craters do exist in Iceland, and right next to Reykjavik, only 34 kilometers away from the capital. So, let me show you one. This enormous crater is called Sturi Matit, or the Large Chisel. It is a volcanic crater 521 meters above the sea level, which belongs to the volcanic system of Hangit on the Reykjanes Peninsula. A few kilometers south, you will find also a tough peak called Little Matit, or Small Chisel. Both uh, Matits are made of tough, and the smaller one has not reached the glacial shield, but the larger one, which we are looking at, has made it through. It broke through the glacier, leaving behind a beautiful crater that is about 500 meters long and 300 meters wide. The eruption that created Sturi Mated likely occurred under the rather thin glacier on a short fissure, blowing ash and pumice tephra into the air. Meanwhile, less active craters formed the hills to the southwest of Sturi Matit. This large crater appeared as a result of the explosive activity in the eruption that formed the mountain. It is strongly suggested that the crater has approached the surface of the glacier. Comparable craters, however, are nowhere else to be found on mount mountain tops in the region. On the slope of this crater, you will find a lot of yellowclastite cemented uh, volcanic ash uh, formed under the glacier during the last ice age. Sturi Matit is completely different from the surrounding mountains and has its own characteristics as well. The crater is at least 50 meters deep at the top and is steep except uh, where there is a gap on the north side. Uh, the crater is nowhere to be seen until you reach its edge. There is a gap in the northern edge of the crater, and it seems that lava has flowed out there. Uh, this gives Sturi Matit a certain volcanic appearance, but it was created at the end of the Ice Age, about 9,000 years ago. At the bottom of the crater you see a sort of a lake, but it is not a lake, it is a pool of water rainwater and meltwater that accumulates there through the winter and usually it dries out in the summer. A few words on the volcanic system of Hangit volcano to which this crater belongs. The 60 kilometers long Hangit volcanic system has been moderately active with nine volcanic eruptions in the Holocene, it means after the Ice Age. The Hangit system is located at the intersection of the western, western volcanic zone. Reykjanes volcanic zone and South Iceland seismic zone. Volcano tectonic faulting is prominent. Subglacially erupted silicic rocks occur in the Hangit center. It hosts Iceland's second largest geothermal system. The characteristic Holocene activity is predominantly effusive basaltic eruptions with lava volumes ranging from 0.05 to 3 cubic kilometers and minor tephra production. The last two eruptions, about 1,900 and 5,800 years ago, 
took place on 27 and 20, 20 kilometers long fissures in the lavas cover an area of about 30 square kilometers in each eruption. Uh, in the youngest eruption, the volcanic fissure extended into Lake Thingvatlavat, where fretomagmatic activity created a tephra ring uh, on the interval between the eruptions. For fissure eruptions, it's up to 2,000 years, for eruptions in every 8,000 years. The last two eruptions were separated by 3,800 years. During the early Holocene, uh, the minimum interval was uh, less than 1,000 years for five lava shields uh, then formed. The last significant eruption was 1,900 years ago. A rifting episode occurred also in 1789, not so long time ago which included a dike propag propagation from Hangit to the northeast. Ha Hangit system is a very seismically active area, as would be expected from the dense fissure swarm and recent eruptions. The Hangit volcano is located as uh, other active central volcanoes in Iceland in a very dynamic environment. Magma is interpreted to provide the heat source to maintain the geothermal gradient and drive the geothermal system and is periodically injected into relatively shallow crustal environment. There is no seismic evidence of an underlying volcanic magma chamber in the roots of the Hangit volcano at present. Surface uh, geothermal manifestations in the Hangit area are closely, closely related to the fissure zone the central volcano and to the post-glacial volcanism. Here in the Hangit system you will find two geothermal power plants, biggest in Iceland, which provide hot water and heating to the residents of Reykjavik. The first exploration drilling of the Hangit system started at Nesha Vatler in 1965 with the five wells and continued through 1981 1985 with the drilling of 13 wells hot water production in the Hangit system started in 1990 and the power generation in 1998. It is rather surprising that one does not find any information about this crater on Wikipedia or any of encyclopedias and the vast majority of residents of Reykjavik do not even know that this crater exists being only 30 minutes drive from the capital. The mountain is well visible from the ring road through Hatley's Hazy, but the crater is not to be seen unless one puts an effort to hike up uh, the mountain or flies a drone or plane above. There are no parking lots or market trails that lead to the crater and virtually no tourists visit uh, this geological wonder of Iceland. I hope uh, this video will trigger the interest in this spectacular mountain and many more Icelanders and foreign visitors will learn about it. Enjoy the footage and peace and blessings from Iceland. God bless.